What did you really do last night? We need to find the cause of your low potassium. You could have a kidney disorder, or leukemia, adenoma. We need to know about any drugs or alcohol, anything that might have threatened your health. Come on, short. OK, we didn't spend the night with the band. You can't tell our friends. Have you heard of Stiletto, Warrior Queen of Space? It's a comic book, right? Thank yeah. you. Yes, a freaking <laughs> amazing new sci-fi series. And they're filming the motion picture now. It's a prequel. The other girls wouldn't get it. Only Phoebe understands my passion. Only Phoebe understands the Bushido of the heel. <sighs> so what actually happened last night? We were with our friends trying to get into the farm side tour party at the Adams. And then I found out that Jeffrey Keener's going to be there. I follow his tweets. <laughs> it's tragic that I have to explain this. He's the creator of Stiletto Issue Number One and the TV show. He's a god. So did you guys go up to him? God, no. We keep a 10-foot rule. It's not stalking if you don't go up to the person and bother them. So we just followed him around. Discreetly. He ditched after half an hour and went down to the hotel restaurant for a late dinner. And you went with him? Discreetly. We played it so cool. For two hours, we lived his life. We did everything he did, ate the exact same meal he ate. Cool. The rest of their story checks out. The hotel manager says mom and dad were charged for food and a room, three pay-per-view episodes of Stiletto. Uh, are you trying to kill yourself? It's from the same batch the girls ate. They ate what he ate, what a hundred other healthy people ate. Dig in. Lunch is on the Adams. What if food is the answer? Well, not this food, any food. Jordan says she ate all of this. She's 16, all about body image, and she obviously worries about fitting in. But we may have to account for her symptoms. We should do a barium swallow for Mallory Weiss tear, start our nutritional supplements, get a psych consult. Do you need me to leave, too? You might remember stuff she doesn't. We didn't do anything we haven't told you about. We hung out at Jordan's all day, and then we called the limo to go into the city. We stopped at Bruce Springsteen's house. Jordan. Don't joke around, okay? You're really sick. Just tell him the truth. Bruce let me play the first electric guitar he ever owned. My God, why are you lying? How can you not believe me? Turn to your right. Mr. Keener, I really appreciate you coming. Oh, it's not that much of a hike. My room's only six floors up. Last night, do you remember two girls, about 16? That table right there. They made an impression. Oh, they were hard to miss with the giggling and the staring. I'm sure that happens to you a lot. I'm sure that happens to you a lot more. She can't control it. A bleed in her brain is affecting her thalamus, causing her to lie. We need to know everything. You two were never apart? Except for when she went to go get ice. But that couldn't have taken very long. You don't know? It was in the middle of the night. I woke up when she came back into the room. And she told you she went to get ice? Um, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm expecting a notes call from LA. Can we make this quick? Did Jordan come to your room the other night? Let me put it another way. We know Jordan came to your room the other night. Look, I've tried to be helpful. I don't know why you want to pretend I'm lying to you, but this is getting too weird for me. We need me. to search your room. You don't, because she was never here. Allison, calm down. You would cover your ass at the expense of someone's life? We know she brought up your journal. That was helpful. He'd be crazy to risk his marriage for a one-night stand with a teenager. Sensible people only risk their marriage for something more serious. I'm not having an affair. We're talking about Keener. Fine. 
He doesn't care about his marriage. What about his career? Statutory rape would ruin it. It's admitting statutory rape that could ruin it, which is why we'll never hear the truth out of him. Rufy's OD explains all her symptoms. We should start treating her with flumazenil. It's not Rufy's. She's bleeding behind her kidneys. We're transfusing another two units packed red cells, but she keeps bringing leaks. That looks like a toxic reaction. Keener must have given her something. The guy's a comic book writer, not a drug dealer. There's a lot that wouldn't show up in a standard talk screen, but he's never going to tell us the truth. We're not going to get the truth out of her, either. We will if we drug her. Amobarbital would suppress her thalamus. She's on antiarrhythmics. Amobarbital could stop her heart. She's already dying. You're angry at me. You're taking it out on this guy because you think he's lying to you, too, and you're going to kill our patient in the process. We need to know the truth. We should call House. Yeah. He'll recommend we take the cautious approach. But I thought truth serum was only stuff they gave people in lame spy movies. We know you're scared, and we know you want to tell the truth. We're going to help you do that. What happened between you and Jeffrey Keener the night you went up to his room? I couldn't believe he even talked to me. I told him how much his work means to me. I figured I must sound like a moron, but he was nice about it. He said I was special. Heart rate's increasing. 140's acceptable. Let her talk. Did he give you anything? A drink, pills. He said it was ecstasy. But it didn't look like ecstasy, and it didn't really make me feel how ecstasy usually does. How did it make you feel? It just made me really tired. What did it look like, a capsule? Tablet? It was a tablet. Round. It could be lithium. He just started touching me. At first, it seemed nice. But then, I didn't want to insult him. That's enough. I'm so sorry. I love you guys so much, and I just, I feel like I've let you down. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Before you do that, look here. Increased periorbital blood flow throughout. It means everything she's been saying has been a lie. Everything. So, so you still don't know what's wrong with her? Sorry. Take down the bags. It's too soon to tell if the meds are gonna... It's not the meds. It's the blood that's killing her. What's everybody doing? You're stunned, right? I mean, blood? She's had internal bleeding. She needs the blood to... Is that the mom? I got a good comeback if it's the mom. Yes, I'm her mother. Sure. She needs blood. If you want to kill her. Then you'd have nobody left to neglect. Great plan. Your daughter has Vibrio vulnificus. Courtesy of a few scrumptious oysters on the half shell. I didn't eat any oysters. Thus proving that she did. Boy, that's neat. A hundred other people ate those oysters. I ate Is that the dad? I got a good comeback. It's Chase. Oh. Thought the dad might have been Australian, too. There was nothing wrong with the oysters. All oysters have Vibrio, but almost no one has hemochromatosis. It'd give her a unique susceptibility to Vibrio. Cause of swollen joints. It got attributed to bulimia. So she got supplements. With iron. Which overcooked the liver, which caused bleeding. More blood, more iron, more bleeding, more blood. Is she going to be OK? Only if we give her high dose septazidine for the Vibrio and chelate for the hemochromatosis. Now, Cameron, pick up the phone and give me a dramatic exit. Infection's clearing up nicely. You should be out of here in a few days. Oh, that is wonderful. Jack, how are you? Sweetie, your father and I think we should reward ourselves with a little time off. Uh, that meeting's going to have to wait a couple of weeks. We're staying here. You should think about where you'd like to go. Honey, they're saying the specs are off for the whole foundation. Can you at least come talk to them? <sighs> You okay? Yeah. <laughs> no. Soil engineering report was fine. I'm used to it. Who are you talking to? So, about what happened that night? Uh, 
I never even got up the courage to knock on his door.